One of my viewers requested me to upload a video on relation among average revenue, marginal revenue and elasticity of demand. This is the video. This video consists of three parts. In the first part, I shall give a basic relation among these three concepts. In the second part, I shall discuss the derivation of the formula. In the third part, numerical explanation is given. The first part begins. We are going to make use of a graph for this. Look at this graph. MR is the marginal revenue curve. AR is the average revenue curve. It is the demand curve also. I sincerely believe that you know how to measure elasticity of demand at a point on a straight line linear demand curve. If not, listen to my video lesson on elasticity of demand geometric method or point method first and then come to this lesson. Link is given in the description. Three basic things that you are expected to know at the very outset are 1. At point M, marginal revenue is 0. Point C on the average revenue curve is directly above the point M. Point C is at the center of the average revenue curve. Exactly at that point, elasticity is unitary. 2. To the left of the point C, that is in the segment CA, elasticity is greater than 1. Look at the marginal revenue curve corresponding to this segment. Marginal revenue is positive. So, it should also be understood as so long marginal revenue is positive, demand is relatively elastic. 3. To the right of point C, that is in the segment CD, elasticity of demand is less than 1. Look at the marginal revenue curve that corresponds to this segment. Marginal revenue is negative. So, it must be understood. So long marginal revenue is negative, demand is relatively inelastic. Part 2 starts. With this understanding, let us try to understand the relation among average revenue, marginal revenue and elasticity of demand. The formula that connects these three concepts is A equal to M times E over E minus 1, where A stands for average revenue, M stands for marginal revenue. E stands for elasticity of demand. Our discussion is going to be around how to derive this formula. Let us make use of this graph. According to geometric method, elasticity of demand at point B is BD over BA. BD is the length of lower segment of the demand curve. BA is the length of the upper segment of the demand curve. From the lengths of BD and BA, we do not get any idea about average revenue and marginal revenue. So, we have to find some means to incorporate average revenue and marginal revenue in our formula. How? That is what we are going to see here. Since it involves mathematics, follow very closely. Let me also try to make it as simple as possible. Take triangles ACB and BED. Angle ACB is equal to angle BED right angles. Angle CBA is equal to angle EDB corresponding angles. So, 
triangles ACB and BED are equiangular. Therefore, BD can be replaced with BE, BA with AC. The formula BD over BA can be written as BE over AC. Now, take triangles ACG and GBF. Angle ACG is equal to angle GBF, right angles. Angle AGC and angle BGF, vertically opposite angles. They are equal. So, triangles ACG and GBF are identical because all angles are equal and all sides are equal. AC is equal to BF. Therefore, AC can be replaced with BE. The formula BE over AC can be written as BE over BF. BF is equal to BE minus EF. BF can be replaced with BE minus EF. Our final formula is elasticity of demand equal to BE over BE minus EF. Now it is time for us to introduce average revenue and marginal revenue. The height of BE represents average revenue. The height of EF represents marginal revenue. Let us use A for average revenue, M for marginal revenue. Again, let us use E to represent elasticity of demand. Using the new symbol A and M and write the formula E equal to A over A minus M. Rearranging, we get E times A minus M equal to A. E A minus E M equal to A. Bring A to the left hand side. E A minus E M minus A equal to 0. Take minus E M to the right hand side. E A minus A equal to E M. Rewrite by taking A as a common factor on the left hand side. A times E minus 1 equal to E M. Take E minus 1 to the right hand side. A equal to E M over E minus 1. By rearrangement, we get A equal to M times E over E minus 1. This formula explicitly explains the relation among average revenue, marginal revenue and elasticity of demand. How to interpret this formula? If we know the value of marginal revenue and elasticity of demand, we can calculate average revenue. In other words, average revenue is equal to E over E minus 1 times marginal revenue. Similarly, given the values of average revenue and elasticity, we can calculate marginal revenue. For this, we have to solve the formula for M. M times E over E minus 1 equal to A. M equal to A times E minus 1 over E. A times E over E minus 1 over E. Finally, we get M equal to A times 1 minus 1 over E. It means marginal revenue is 1 minus 1 over E times average revenue. Thus, by using the formula, we can find out either elasticity of demand or average revenue or marginal revenue given the other two values.
we shall pass on to numerical illustration to improve our understanding let us measure elasticity of demand at the same point b on the demand curve ad we shall use the basic geometric method formula first elasticity of demand equal to lower segment of the demand curve over upper segment of the demand curve bd over ba the length of ba is 5 units length of bd is 10 units 10 over 5 2 elasticity of demand is 2 we shall use the first formula we have already developed that is e equal to a over a minus m to calculate elasticity of demand at point b average revenue 8 rupees marginal revenue 4 rupees by substituting these values in the formula e equal to 8 over 8 minus 4 2 elasticity of demand 2 relatively elastic demand we shall use the formula average revenue equal to e over e minus 1 times m to calculate average revenue at point b at b elasticity of demand is 2 marginal revenue is 4 substituting these values in the formula 2 over 2 minus 1 times 4 8 average revenue is 8 rupees we shall use the formula marginal revenue equal to 8 times 1 minus 1 over e to calculate marginal revenue elasticity at point b is 2 average revenue is 8 substituting these values in the formula 8 times 1 minus 1 over 2 4 marginal revenue is 4 before i finish this lesson let me give you a problem please solve it and compare your result with the calculated elasticity value of this problem this is the problem the demand function is x equal to negative 3 over 4 p plus 9 calculate the elasticity of demand when price is 8 rupees the demand function is the equation of the demand curve we have been using so far elasticity to be calculated exactly at point b the price is 8 rupees we have to use calculus to solve this problem the formula that you have to use is this elasticity of demand equal to dx over dp times x over p where dx over dp is first derivative p is price it is 8 rupees x is quantity this we have to find we shall start with the calculation of quantity substitute p equal to 8 in the given demand function quantity 3 units find the first derivative of the demand function negative 3 over 4 substitute the values in the formula negative 3 over 4 times 8 over 3 negative 2 when price is 8 rupees elasticity of demand 2 we get the same result our discussion ends here Listen again and again to understand this lesson better. We shall meet again.